tree, tree. Ten thirty AM, day two. Oh man, things have turned even worse. Even the wood pile is frosty. Doesn't look like we're gonna be getting that fire going uh, in a hurry, covered in frost. Campfire's out, and the ground we are standing on is just so muddy and so wet. We're gonna move the campsite this morning. This is not fun. Just hold the camera up, as you can see. A lot of things have turned white overnight. Just a slight dusting of snow was occurring while we were sleeping. It's my backpack. <clears throat> so it's pretty cold this morning, probably about two or three degrees. And I'm gonna pack up the tent and move it to a spot where we can get more sunlight because today is a nice sunny day. And we'll hang up a clothesline. There's a nice clearing on the other side of that dense bush there where we'll set up the tent again just walk around this way unfortunately all our ropes have been utilized as extra guy lines so we really can't even set up a clothesline at the moment once the tent's packed up and moved we shall come back to you it's Christina packing up She's closed the screen so we can't see her. There's all our food. Everything's wet, everything's muddy. Even my hydration sack is covered in mud. I hope I never have to say this again, campers, but this campsite sucks. Full stop, it just absolutely sucks. And the worst thing about this campsite, I haven't even shown you, and unfortunately the camera won't even be able to pick up, and that is that we're not even on level ground. We hold it back here. You might be able to see there's a slight tilt to the left, so the whole tent is tilting slightly, which means that as I sleep, I'm constantly rolling downhill in uh, this westerly direction. There's north, just over there, the sun. So north is roughly there. Well, I'll switch this back on campers in a moment. So you can see the next campsite and where we're headed. Woo! So we've now found a much nicer campsite. There's the vestibule of the tent drying out in the sun. Just take you over here to the campsite. All the gears drying out. Just making, most, making the most of this perfectly sunny day. So another thing you can do is just hang your socks in the trees. If you don't have rope, you can just use the trees. <sighs> Maybe the camera's not picking up. There's a lot, of, lot more snow up on that peak over that way. Swing around here to the campsite and what's happening. Trees, uh, backpacks in the trees as usual. Campfire's just in the process of sparking up now with the baking tray underneath. There's Christina setting up the tent and this is probably the flattest spot we could find in this area where unfortunately we are literally on the edge of a cliff. Camped on the edge of a cliff and there's a the big waterfall I was talking about is just over that way. Hopefully we'll make it through later to this afternoon once the tent's set up. So another thing you can do when you're in an extremely windy position and that's what might happen tonight. It might get really windy so you can put rocks inside the tent. There's a rock there, another rock there. And in each corner of the tent, there's another rock, a rock there, a rock there. So in a really windy position like this, the wind will actually come up under the base of the tent. So there's no way with all those rocks there, there's no way the tent will be, get lifted up off the ground. So we're still in the early stages of anchoring down this tent. 
there's all the other rocks we're going to be using each rock roughly the size of a tissue box or a small tissue box uh oh campfires died down while i've been making this video just have to put another jiffy fire lighter in there i know it's a bit of a lazy method but I'm trying to do two or three things at once here back over here so looks like all the gear is almost dry it's only been up for about 10 20 minutes so the whole purpose of moving to this spot was to find a spot where we had maximum sunlight where we could dry our gear off because tomorrow we are going to make the unfortunate trudge back to the car we've had to cancel what we did have planned we were going to do a big trek in that direction it's just too rough this trail we're hiking on is just it's not even here mate we're just bush bashing that's what's happening at bush channel in the mountains of australia and there's the crin lone that's the mountain peak we were on top of yesterday at this time yesterday just there quite a difficult and dangerous climb actually we have to cross back over that peak tomorrow to get back to the car let's just have another look over this cliff edge just have to watch my footing because one slip could be the end of everything the tent is up and the fire is going now it's time to take you for a walk down to the waterfall. Almost there. So this tree, this tree is as close as I can get. We're just over there. It's a 50 meter drop, campus. The top of the waterfall. Woo! on sunrise 7 a.m day three everything is frosty everything is frosty once again good luck getting that fire going in the next two seconds 